According to a report from the South China Morning Post, a Chinese team has developed a new superconducting quantum processor called Zuchong G 3.2 that has officially beaten Google's hardware on key efficiency metrics. The research published in Physical Review Letters, an American science journal, claims that the 107 qubit machine uses a revolutionary all microwave control system to stabilize quantum data. So why is this significant? For years, the biggest stumbling block with quantum computing has not been speed, but stability. Quantum computers are notoriously fragile with the slightest chance and change in physical conditions wiping out entire calculations. Google's Willow chips suppress these errors using massive cumbersome hardware. To put it simply, this new Chinese microprocess or claims to do so using an iota of the hardware and energy that the Google chips require. If the reports are accurate, it might be the first machine capable of correcting its own errors at this scale. In theory, that means China might be on track to develop a usable quantum computer in a much shorter time frame than previously thought. The ramifications of that extend far beyond scientific discovery, medicine and business to geopolitics. Currently, quantum computers are used largely for physics simulations. The big prize for whoever cracks the quantum compute game, however, lies with decryption. Theoretically, quantum computers will be able to break any encryption, any code, in a matter of minutes. That potential scenario, when modern cybersecurity becomes obsolete, is popularly referred to as Q-Day and has national security implications for all countries. The breakthrough by the Chinese represents a major leap forward for China's prospects in the quantum race. It's likely to put pressure on big tech in the U.S. to catch up.